Oh, Nintendo, please don't disappoint me. How are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up, bro. Ski. Let's get right to the news. We have some dope Switch news items for this video. The first one Nintendo has confirmed on their official Japanese Twitter account that they are hiring. For new 2D and 3D games. First, let's talk about the 2D games. In my mind, I'm thinking they're finally going to make a new 2D platforming Mario game. When you really think about it, we went from too many 2D Mario games during the 3DS, like back to back to back to back to back to back to back during the Wii U, the Wii, Wii U, 3DS, we're getting Mario games every month to, it's been a couple years, Nintendo's like, okay, we need to chill. We haven't had a true 2D Mario game in a minute, bro. We've gotten Mario Maker, but it's primarily you making the Mario stages. But just a brand new 2D Mario game, it's been a minute and let me tell you this nintendo has fallen behind the competition when it comes to 2d platforming nintendo used to be the king of 2d pla super mario world on the super nintendo is still the best 2d mario game nintendo has ever made don't at me new super mario brothers you was cool was lit lit you saw the lamps lit but it was a little bland. The art style, the new series, it's been the same art style for like two, three generations now. You know what convinced me that Nintendo needs to step up their game when it comes to 2D platforming? Bruh, when I played Rayman Legends on my Wii U, I was like, oh, Nintendo. Oh, Nintendo, y'all fell behind, bro. In one stage of Rayman Legends, more creativity than the entire game of New Super Mario Brothers U. That rock and roll stage, dun up, dun 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 up, dun 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 up, dun 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 up. You know what I'm talking about, bro. Rayman Legends, not just Rayman Legends, but even Microsoft, bro. And one finger of Cuphead, pow 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 pow. More creativity than the whole game of New Super Mario U. Nintendo needs to step up their 2D Mario game. You know what I want Nintendo to do with their art style for Mario? Dude right here. Him. Completely change the art style, the assets for the next 2D Mario game. A more cartoony, loose, fun-flowing art style. Something different, bro. Bro, y'all still got it. We just saw what y'all did with um, Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening looks dope, bro. I love the art style, the direction Nintendo um, um, took the series. Do the same thing with Mario. So a new 2D game, and they're developing a new 3D game. Right about now, there's only one 3D game I want Nintendo to be making. <laughs> Pikmin. Can we get a new Pikmin game, Nintendo? It's been a minute, bro. We already know. Zelda is coming. That's checked off. We already know Metroid is coming. That's checked off. Where the Pikmin love at, bro? We just got a 3D Mario Odyssey. Where is our Pikmin, bro? Pikmin is so good. The last Pikmin game we had was Pikmin 3 on the Wii U. <coughs> Miyamoto said years ago that the next Pikmin game was ready to go. I really think something was lost in translation where in the west we thought it was pikmin 4 and it was really that hey pikmin game on the 3ds but we need a true 3d pikmin game so long story short 
Nintendo has confirmed on their Japanese Twitter that they are hiring for a new 2D, for 2D and 3D games. Can't wait to see what Nintendo's cooking up. Whatever you want to say about the Switch, no one can deny. Nintendo has the best first party games. That's not debatable. All right. Next news item, bro. Sony has officially confirmed the PlayStation 5. That's right. Their console is officially called the PlayStation 5. Who would have thought? And the launch window is holiday 20. 20. I said this on Twitter yesterday, bro, when the news dropped. I said, Microsoft need to troll Sony. Microsoft need to call their next console the PlayStation 6. <laughs> I know there's some copyright. You can't do that because PlayStation is probably copyrighted. But, bro, you walk into GameStop? What? On the shelf? There's a PlayStation 5 and a PlayStation 6? No brainer. I'm getting a 6. Call it the Game Station 6. <laughs> That would be funny. Next news item. Doom Eternal has been delayed. Originally set to launch this fall. It's been delayed now to March 2020. March 20th, 2020 to be exact. At first when I heard this news, I was like, they running from Call of Duty. They running from car. I know the developers said, no, we just more time to polish the games. No, you're running. But two, this game was launched on the same day as Pokemon. Even though a different um, demographics who would probably be picking up Pokemon and Doom. No, but it does still overlap because adults play Pokemon too. And so it would have been a lot of competition in November, bro. But then I looked at when it's launching in March. You got Final Fantasy VII Remastered coming out in March. So, I don't know. But it will be more competition in the fall. So, I could see it makes sense for them to <laughs> breathe a little bit in 2020. But, I do think, um, honestly, that they probably do need to polish the game. And whatever you need to do to make the game better. I still wasn't 100% sold on getting this game on the Switch. I got to see more of the multiplayer. Because that's primarily what I would get this game for. For the... Um, online multiplayer all right um like i said they're gonna be competing against final fantasy 7 so <laughs> all right next news item bro this is so funny this is so you're not gonna believe this bro <laughs> there is a wrestler where his special move is the nintendo switch professional wrestler this is leroy green his first name is funny, Leroy Green. But his, I guess his stick is, no, he wrestles, but no matter what, he plays his Nintendo Switch. Wait till y'all watch this, bro. This is so funny. Watch this, bro. I was done when I saw this. That's all right. I'm gonna talk. I got you. Watch this. Oh, <laughs> he is not letting go of his Switch. He's not, he's still playing the Switch. <laughs> I'm done, bro. I'M DONE! Oh, he died. He's still holding on to his Switch! Oh! Oh! He's playing a Switch! WHAT?! WHAT?! Bro! Bro! <laughs> I'm done, man! This is crazy! This is crazy! So shout out to Leroy Green! That's his special move to not let go of his Nintendo Switch. <laughs> hey, that was funny, bro. I was done. Last news item. Fortnite Season 10 is coming to a close. Season 11 is nigh upon us. And there's going to be a special event. Um, this Sunday, Fortnite Island event will occur at a, on October 13th um, at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's known as The End. Whatever date October 13th is, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I've been told, uh, this is just dudes talking to me, that 
Um, the, they're finally gonna change the map on Fortnite. They need to, bro. Apex Season Three just launched, and Apex has an all new map, bro. Fortnite needs to change things up, bro. The viewer count is dropping. You can tell just by what they're doing in the game. Now they're combining all the lobbies before you could play on different consoles, different lobbies. And they're also hearing that they're adding bots to the game. So we'll see. Fortnite is still lit. I still like to play it. But let's see what they do to um, keep the, to keep the um, game fresh and keep fans engaged. All right, dudes. That's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click the subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out. Bra. Oh, we almost had a Reggie piece of me. <laughs> hey Mario, what you running from? Good level design? You burnt.